As you learned in the last video, geography can be represented in a number of different ways within ArcGIS. One of the ways that GIS data can be represented is by features, points, lines, or polygons. These are uh, discrete objects uh, on a map, uh, and each of these uh, features has attributes associated with them. So again, anything that's a point, line, or a polygon. We also have surfaces, things like contours, uh, that can represent uh, landscapes and topography. We have images, aerial photographs, and digital elevation models that can represent geography. We have XY locations uh, like addresses, uh, latitude and longitude coordinates uh, that we can integrate within GIS. And then we also have network data like a stream network or a road network uh, as a way of representing geography. So lots of different ways of representing geography within uh, a GIS and you can use these all in combination and in tandem with one another. One of the questions that I'm hoping that you're asking yourself at this time is, how the heck does all this data that I add to my map line up with each other? How does it know where to go on the map? And the reason that it is able to position itself on the map uh, correctly is because it has uh, a coordinate system attached to it, which tells it where to um, position itself on the Earth's surface. So that's a key concept in GIS, is that data is a georeference to uh, specific uh, locations on the Earth's surface, and because of that um, fact that it has a coordinate system and a projection attached to it, we can uh, do measurements and uh, quantifications of acreage and uh, so forth. So it's something that is a little bit different than other um, maps that you might see is the fact that the geographic data that we're working with in uh, ArcGIS is uh, geo-referenced. Um, one of the uh, first concepts we have to discuss um, with this is the concept of map projections. As we know, the Earth is not a flat object, it is a spherical object. And a map projection is a way of getting that 3D Earth into two dimensions. Essentially, it's a way of flattening out the Earth so that we can um, examine patterns and trends a little bit uh, easier. So when we do take that round object and flatten it out, we're going to get some dis distortion because we can't keep all the characteristics um, uh, retained as a, uh, as a result of that. Um, so we can think of it like an orange peel. Um, when uh, this is an orange, as we know, is a round object, and when we peel it out and flatten it out, the various things get distorted. We still know it's an orange peel, but there's uh, various distortions. The length of, from one point to the other is, is different. The shape has changed, uh, the direction has changed, and uh, a number of other different properties. So um, some of the characteristics that get uh, distorted or retained are shape, distances, directions, and sizes. And it's impossible to preserve all of these properties when we flatten a 3D object into 2D. It's possible to retain some, and it's depending on our application, on which um, characteristics we want to retain and which ones can be uh, compromised. So there are three families of uh, projections that are used to flatten the round earth uh, to a flat object. Um, the first one is a cylindrical uh, projection. If we look at this and conceptualize um, the earth and we're putting a, a piece of paper around the earth uh, in a cone shape. The place where that piece of paper touches the Earth's surface is known as the line of tangency. At that uh, line it is where the map is the most accurate. As we move away from that line, properties get more distorted. We also have a conical projection, and in this we wrap a piece of paper around the Earth in a, a cone shape, and uh, this is used for um, areas at the mid latitudes. So again, this line of tangency is where the map is the most accurate. As it moves away from that line of tangency, the map gets more distorted. And then finally, we have an azimuthal projection. And instead of having a line of tangency as we had in the cylindrical and conical uh, projections, we have a point of tangency. So that point is where the map is most accurate. And as we move away from that, it becomes more distorted. 
And now think back to this map that you are probably very familiar with uh, from your grade school and high school days. If you looked at many of the maps that were used in grade school and high school, it was um, Lot, oftentimes done in the Mercator projection. And hopefully you kind of know what's wrong with this map. This map is a uh, cylindrical projection as here. So as we move away from that equator, the areas at the, the poles, um, at the extremes, get more distorted. So this makes Greenland look huge. Many of us grew up thinking Greenland was bigger than Africa because of the map that we were using, when in fact it's 14 times smaller than Africa. Look also at this landmass down here of Antarctica, uh, it makes it look quite massive when in fact it is not nearly that massive. So there are um, distortions that happen when we uh, you know, flatten out that round object using any of these uh, various projections. And these are the t um, different properties that get distorted. Shape gets distorted, area, distance, and direction. When we compare three map projections um, and how they look, we can see that uh, they represent the United States in different ways. The Mercator projection has a flat uh, top of the United States, while the Lambert uh, projection uh, has a more a curved appearance because it's using uh, that conical projection that's most appropriate for uh, the mid-latitudes. And then we can also see the, what unprotected latitude and longitude are. So something about projections is that you can really um, mislead your audience if you're not using the one that's appropriate for the geographic location where you are. For Pennsylvania, the most appropriate geographic, um, the most ap appropriate uh, map projection when we're just showing Pennsylvania and nothing else surrounding it is Pennsylvania State Plain. And we have a state plain north and a state plain south. If we are using making a map of the United States, the, the most appropriate map projection for the United States is a Lambert conformal conic because we're showing a, a large area that's at the, the uh, mid latitudes, and a conical projection is most appropriate for that. So it's just something to keep in mind as we're moving forward in this course is that all ge geographic data is georeferenced using uh, some type of map uh, projection and coordinate system. And depending where you're located, there are different selections that need to be made or, or else you can uh, mislead uh, your uh, audience. So with that, uh, that ends the um, map uh, projection and coordinate system uh, video. Uh, we will now get into um, working with uh, geographic data.